your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. Okay, so we are back here by popular demand. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighbor... Oh, shit. Beast mode! Ah! Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and we are back here again with another action figure review. Alright, so today we have Beast Boy. Beast Boy! Beast Boy! Beast Boy! I know nothing about this character, guys. Um, I admit I'm a little bit behind when it comes to my DC characters. Um, I'm guessing he's part of... He's part of... He has to be part of the Teen Titans, right? I'm not really for sure. Uh, he's an older DC figure. Uh, he is not McFarlane, I know, right? What? Here are some of the other figures you can pick up. Starfire, which I've recently reviewed, and uh, Raven, Cyborg, which I really have no aspiration to pick up. I really wanted to pick up this Beast Boy because I thought he was really, really cool. Uh, it is done by Terry Dodson, Designer Series number four. Um, now, I could have done a little research on this guy before I reviewed him. I might still do that during the editing process. But if you guys want to leave a little story of Beast Boy in the comments section, go ahead and I'll pin it to my page. So, nonetheless, we're going to cut them out, and we're going to get to the reviewing, guys. I really like the look of this Beast Boy. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not familiar with this character at all. But I'm a big fan of the designer series, so nonetheless, we are going to cut him out. Clip him out, shall we say. Let's take out Beast Boy. Beast Boy! Oh, look at that. Beast Boy does have a tail. So, he doesn't come with any accessories at all. He just brings himself to the party. <laughs> I, I automatically like him, dude. I really like this guy. Automatic. It's an automatic right there, dude. How can you not love a green beast? Oh my god, his mouth opens up! I broke his jaw. That's awesome. He's got an articulated mouth, as you guys can see right there. That's very, very dope. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. Of course, he's got some scuffage on his top of his head and his eyebrows. Maybe I can scratch that off. Nonetheless, it doesn't uh, interfere with the sculpt of the character. I'm not that picky. The one thing I like about these DC designer fairy uh designer figures fairies designer <laughs> figures is that they have some really nice weight to them man they're not heavy at all let me bring my camera down just a little bit right here and they feel like the sculpt of these characters if you if i can compare them they actually feel like the ninja turtles back here if you guys have these ninja turtles from batman versus ninja turtles that's what this plastic feels like if i could describe it the tail, I love his tail, dude. His tail is a tail. Yeah, tail is bendable. Look at that. It is on a bendy wire. It's a thick tail. He's got a thick tail. What are you trying to tell me, Beast Boy? Ah, <laughs> dude, I love his overall wardrobe. This is the kind of stuff I'm, I'm going to be rocking when I hit my 50s. <laughs> or maybe sooner, who knows? I really like his style, dude. I like the cargo pants and the uh, hoodie. In the gym shoes. Look at that. Actually, it's kind of like the style that I'd be rocking right now. <laughs> the paint apps are very nicely done. And like I said, being that they used a similar plastic like these Ninja Turtles. Let me just let me break out Donatello right here. You can see that, yeah, it's a similar, similar plastic that they use. And it's by coincidence, too, because I was reviewing this Robin over here and decided to break out these Ninja Turtles. So this was my last review right here. We'll do some comparisons in the moment. But yeah, it's by coincidence that I broke out these Ninja Turtles and they had pretty much the same plastic, dude. And it looks like they used the same kind of paint as well. 
it has a very very similar style the paint apps in in the plastic they that they use is very very similar love the tennis shoes bro <laughs> love it dude he does have look at that uh swivel right there at the knee so you can get his legs to turn in and out ankle articulation that's pretty much it bendable knees that's pretty much all you're going to get with this guy just kind of in a walking style his legs can kick out that much that much this is not bad can you do some splits let's see yeah he can do splits if you wanted to yep look at that very dope as far as elbow bend. Yeah, not not that great. Yeah, it's not that great. Wrist swivel. Is it bendable? Yeah, it's a little bit articulated. I like his claws. His claws are painted very nicely. And then he has uh, head movement, which his head is on a ball joint. That's very, very dope. He looks very, very great, guys. I wish he would have come with some accessories. I don't know what else Beast Boy could have come with. I don't know if Beast Boy actually has any accessories. I don't think he needs any accessories. But overall, he's a great, great looking figure, dude. Okay, so you guys saw some comparisons of Donatello. Let's measure him first, and then we'll do some more comparisons, and I'm going to give you my rating. This is going to be a short review because he's pretty much a simple dude. A simple beast. He's a simple beast. <laughs> so Beast Boy stands about 6 and 3 eighths tall. That's kind of like the size of like a Marvel Legend. Kind of similar to Robin. Actually, they measure up pretty well. Beast Boy is a little bit taller than Robin. I like that. I, they actually go well together. I'm actually probably going to put this uh, Beast Boy next to this Robin right here. Because they go so well together. Robin. So we compared him with some Ninja Turtles. This is how he measures up with Leo. You guys saw him with Donnie. Here he is with Ra Ralph. Some people call him Raph. Other people call him Ralph. I don't know what do you guys call him, Ralph, Raph. I've heard Raph. I've heard I've heard Raph, but I guess Ralph would be probably the most uh, logical way to go because he is Ralph, Raphael, Raphael, Raph, Raph. No, actually, it's Raph, right? Raph, not Ralph, Raph. <laughs> so that's how you measure up with uh, uh, Raphael. <laughs> I tricked myself. Uh, Mikey! This is how he compares with Mikey. Look up Mikey. Mikey's small dude, man. Uh, some of the last figures I reviewed. Of course, you guys saw the variant of Batman, Hellbat, and then Beast Boy. Uh, Shao Kahn! Shao Kahn with Beast Boy. And then last but not least, uh, anytime I can break out this guy, Doomacorn with Beast Boy. I'm, I'm really loving these fun figures, man. I like reviewing. I like my horror stuff, but at the same time, I like reviewing fun figures, man. I just, I, li I just like when figures are done in a fun way, you know what I mean? There's some people that don't collect horror stuff and collect a lot of, like, kid stuff, kid, you know, stuff like this, and there's stuff, and there's people out there that collect, like, kid stuff and don't really mess around with the horror stuff. I like, I like both avenues, you know what I mean? I like the fun stuff, it's good to be fun every once in a while, and it's good to collect a lot of horror stuff. But I'm really liking a lot of this fun stuff as well. So let me give you my rating, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to be very generous simply because I like the way he looks. I know really no, virtually nothing about the, the the character. So if you guys know him, like I said, let me know. Um, great looking figure. I'm going to give him like a 7.5 out of 10. Not really an 8. He's better than a seven, so I say a seven and a half. Really great, great looking figure, dude. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Teen Titans. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but he's a really great looking figure, dude. I love the way he looks. I love the green, his green skin or fur. I'm guessing fur. Um, I love the hoodie, the shorts, the shoes. That's probably one of the main reasons why I like this guy so much. And also, he, he looks cool too, man. He looks really, really dope. That's another figure to add to my DC collection. All right, guys, let me know what you think about Beast Boy. Beast. Beast Boy. All right, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments section. If you guys know a story about Beast Boy, leave it in the comments section. I'll pin it to my page. All right, guys, just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.